Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a classified website using Laravel framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying the name of state inside this text box whenever user click on the list item okay like when I let me just type a here okay now it's displaying you the list of states and when I click on the state then then it started displaying inside this text box okay so now at this point when I select any state name I also want to display the names of cities which comes under this state and I want those cities names to be displayed below this text box okay so now here I have enter the names of cities and their state IDs as well okay so that I can match this I can get the appropriate city name uh, whose state ID equals to this state ID okay so now let me just start doing that okay so for that we need to go to our editor okay and we have to first set up a, a route okay route post okay now let me just copy this and put it here okay and this one is cities and here as well cities okay and then and then your state then okay here this one is playing cities okay just save it okay now we have set the route and let us go to our app.php okay so let me just come here at the bottom and document okay let me just copy this and paste it here okay and now where state okay here inside the state variable i am storing the value of the uh, value of name of states which user enters inside the text box okay, okay. and then id this dot val okay so here whatever value gets inserted inside this text box this value will get stored inside this uh, state variable because you can see i'm referring the referring this text box with the name of with the id of this text box okay so now id of the text box is state okay and i also want to get the id of the state okay so uh, let me just come here okay so now here let me just show you that let's refresh okay and a okay so when i right click on this list item and when i click on inspect okay you can see here the value contains the id of the state okay so this id i'm getting with the help of by using this dot val okay so inside this id i'm storing that id of the state okay save it and then just copy this and put it here just copy this entire thing and put it here okay and then we need to change the route here it should be state dot set here the same route i need to put it here as well okay and here it should be id okay and then token okay and then this is the post request okay and then i will 
sorry alert here okay and data okay so inside this alert okay uh, and now we need to go to our controller and we have to create a function public function cities okay request okay and then if dollar request okay okay id okay. and then i will just copy this paste okay echo okay so now i will return the id of the selected list item okay and here i'm dis i will display that id here with the help of that alert okay so here i'm checking whether my ajax call is successfully getting executed or not okay now let me just execute it okay so now let me come here and let's refresh okay and let's just type a okay it's not displaying anything okay let me just check it out okay here it should be dollar okay and here i have not register on click event okay it should be on and here it should be click and we need to tell or on which uh, whenever i click a list item uh, this on click listener should get triggered okay so for that i need to put the id of that uh, link okay so this is state state list okay ah, this one state list state list ul ally okay now let me just come here to my actual project okay so now when i uh, let me just refresh it okay let me just type a okay so when i right click on it and click on inspect you can see this is the id of that div okay inside that div i have ul okay and i am referring the list item okay state list ul and li that's what i'm doing here okay so whenever i click on that any of the list item of the drop down i'm executing this on click listener okay so now it should display me it should return me the id of that uh, state okay now let's just come to my project refresh it okay so now when i type a okay now it's displaying the drop down and when i click on any of this uh, list item it will display me the id okay here you can see in the form of an alert box yeah okay, click okay and now i will type g okay and when i click on goa it will display me the id of that state six okay this id six i'm going to uh, i'm passing this six here inside my controller okay so from this controller i'm getting this id of six okay so and here from here i'm getting that id inside this alert box okay that means i'm successfully able to uh, connect or um, or uh, i'm successfully making then making an ajax call okay now let me just come back here okay and then it will be query okay and then we we'll use we'll just copy this same thing I will paste it and then I will change the state to cities okay where ID okay and here you can see uh, inside my cities table I have given the ID field as state ID okay so now I need to change it to state ID okay uh, state ID is equals to the value or the ID which I shown you in the form of an alert box okay you can all just print it out so print r 
data okay just refresh okay and when i type a it will display me the list of states and when i click on this andhra pradesh okay now you can see inside in the form of an alert box i'm getting the cities of uh, of that andhra pradesh state anandpur chittur okay only two okay and when i type g it will display me goa and when i click on this state it will display me the states okay of go uh, cities of goa okay or uh, let's just come here okay that means i am successfully getting the states Oh, sorry, I'm successfully getting the cities of that state. And now, output. Yeah, and then if I'll copy the same thing, I will paste it here. Okay, if count is greater than zero, and then here. Uh, okay, name. will be search city search city okay and then id id also search city city okay i will take out this class okay and then raw city name okay i don't want this value field so i will just remove it okay, and then here should be city name okay as you can see here inside my table i have given the name name for that field as city name okay so that that's with that name i have to refer it okay yeah that's all okay and here okay output so i am not using ul here okay echo output and then here city not found okay and then i'm echoing the output okay so now let me just save it okay and let's refresh okay just type a okay and when i click on g okay it's displaying the the names of uh, cities which comes under goa state okay so uh, i have to i have to make some changes here inside my app dot blade okay so here i had displayed the data in the form of an alert okay now i will just copy this and i will put it here and here it will be city list city list dot fade in okay and then copy dot html and then i'm passing data okay so here city list we have to create that div so that i can display the cities let's copy and it will be city list okay now let's refresh Okay, let me just type A, and when I click on Andhra Pradesh, it will display the list uh, or the names of Andhra uh, name, names of the cities which comes under Andhra Pradesh state. Okay, and if I change it to G, that means Goa. Okay, then it will display me the cities of Goa state. Okay, so now I need to make some styling to this div. Okay, I will come here, style. Okay, and then display as block. Okay, and then position absolute. Okay, just enter. Okay, and then. Border radius as zero pixel. Okay, and okay, and then background okay. 
background white okay and then width 88 percent save it refresh it okay just type g and when i click on this goa okay that's of the cities in the in the uh, in a another div okay so okay now just come back here and then we need to do some padding px and then 13 px okay and then overflow y auto okay, and then z index one save it okay let me just refresh it okay type g and when i click on goa okay now you can see it's displaying me uh, the list of all cities which comes under goa state in a more stylized manner okay so now uh, that's all for this uh, uh, video guys okay so in this video i discuss how to display how to fetch the cities which comes under the appropriate state okay by using ajax and jquery okay so in my next video i will discuss uh, how to dis how to click on any of this list item and to display and i will display this any of this uh, city name below this text box exactly the same way how i have done it here okay to just type a okay when i click on Andhra pradesh it will display the list of cities and when i click on anandpur it will display the name of that city below that text box okay so the same functionality i'm going to develop in my next video okay so i uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching